Hello E39 Source, Houston here with a E39 525 M-Sport. I believe this is a 2001 or 2002. And today we will be using the factory display unit and installing a reverse camera. The reverse camera we will be using is this unit here. Um, this is about $10 and this is a Chinese one I got from AliExpress. Uh, there are several different versions of these available. Most of them are combined with the switch for re the trunk release. Uh, this one here has the built-in number plate light as well. I went with this version because I didn't actually buy this for this car. I bought this for my E38. And the E38 does not have a switch on the trunk as such. It's a, You push in the lock um, where the key goes in as the trunk release instead of having the switch like the E39. So I got like four of these at one time um, to fit all of my cars. So you'll need this. It comes with the wire for the power. You'll also need to get a extension for the video side. The video side only comes like that. You'll need an extension. Um, we're currently in lockdown here in New Zealand, so this is the only one I had lying around to make do. We will now go to the back of the car and look at the wiring and how we will run it. Um, it's quite windy today so I'll try to avoid as much wind noise as possible. So this is a facelift car and it has the Mark II navigation. It should work without a navigation system. You do not need navigation for this to work. Uh, it should also work with pre-facelift. I cannot confirm that, but as far as I know, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. You'll just have a lot smaller image. The computer you'll need access to is that unit there. It is on the driver's side for the New Zealand car, or the right-hand side of the car. And you'll need access to the white plug. Uh, possibly the blue one, depending how you want to wire it, but primarily the white plug. So we'll be taking that out. We will be routing the wiring behind this panel here, up through here, and into the trunk lid. Um, I'm wiring in a UHF radio at the same time, so that'll be run all together. So I'll pull the paneling off, pull this off, show you how we mount the camera. The camera is now installed. It's mounted there, and it has the LED number plate light beside it. It is not a and it is a Chinese part, so it's had to bend in that tab just in there just slightly to make it a bit tighter fit. Originally it was quite loose, but it's not going to fall out. It doesn't shake around. It's good there. As far as the wiring, the power and signal for the video camera run down through there. And getting it through that cable there is by far the worst part. It's through there. That's actually one cable all the way through to under there. It's a mission to get it through there, but it is possible. This wire here is the new number plate light. And so it will join up to that connector there. Fairly straightforward. This is the power for the camera. And that is just going to go into there with the reverse light. And this is our signal wire, which is going up to the camera focus, that computer there. Now the pin out for that is the white plug. And um, we're going for pin 13 and 14. Pin 13 is the signal and 14 is the signal ground. So, just have to pull into there. Now, what you'll want to do is find a spare connector and pull the pins out. And the way they go, if the camera will focus, you'll see there's a little tab there, and that's what holds each of these pins into the plastic connector. Just get a little screwdriver, press down on those, they'll pull out. Uh, this is out of spare of my E38, same connector. Um, I think this one went to the video module or the navigation. I can't remember for sure which. Um, but 
just pull out all those pins. You only need two of them for this, um, so I'll strip out all this extra covering, pull the connector apart, pin them in, and then connect these wires to those two wires. The wiring is now complete, and there is one more wire that I forgot to mention before that is required for this to work with the factory display unit. If we look here, um, so this is the um, blue connector on the rear TV control module that runs all the display. Pin 17 needs to go to a ground source for it to know that it's in reverse and that it should look at the camera input from the white plug, which has pins 13 and 14 from the camera unit itself. That's the signal wires there. So the two signal wires from the camera go 13, 14, and pin 17 from the blue plug needs to go to a ground only when it's in reverse. Now, there's no plug in the trunk that I know of that only has a ground connection in reverse. It's, it's kind of a backwards way of, for BMW to have wired it. And the only simple way around it, and it's pretty straightforward, is to put in a relay. This is a identical relay to the one I used. This is out of a parts car I had a while ago. And if you know how a relay works, you'll be able to figure this out yourself. It's pretty straightforward. But if you just want a quick and easy solution, pin 30 goes to pin 17 on the blue connector. So pin 17 to pin 30 on your relay. Pin 85 is to a power source in reverse. So the easiest way to do that is the reverse light. Just take the power from that and splice it into pin 85. Then this one has two 87s. It's a dual output. Um, doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, 86 and 87 need to go to ground. So they can be joined together and to a ground any bolt or ground wire, anything will work. That allows, this actually has a diagram on it, which is quite helpful. So this switch here will close when it goes into reverse. You have power through there. That closes and gives pin 30 a ground connection, which tells it it's in reverse, tells it to look at the signal, and gives you a reverse camera display. If I turn this on here, radio all works, I go to reverse, and reverse camera.